can't go on stage like that. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Bars and Bells. My name is Lauren. This is Ian. Oh, I'm we sorry I'm late. Wardrobe adjustments there. Oh, so I tonight, miss that though. We should we need to add a little bit of fun to every intro. We'll talk about that later. We got some stuff to talk about. All right. I'm Ian. This is our uh, yeah. kettlebell class. Lauren is the kettlebell guru within our organization, if you will. Lauren is the Iron Maiden. Lauren is super strong. So let's put her in charge for now when she wants to hand it off. She can. All right. All right. I'm here. Let's get down to the floor, go quick wrist to warm up, and then we'll explore a warm up through our get up. I think that will be nice. Let's start getting to the floor via our hinge. Feet slightly wider than hip width apart. Take your hands, chop your hips back. Check it out. Look down for a second. Are your toes gripping the floor? Are your arches pulled up? Are your shins vertical? Is your butt back and your hamstrings and your glutes loaded? Is your spine nice and long from your head to your tail? Inhale, brace your abs like you could take a punch. Drive your feet into the floor. Take your butt, push it through, and stand up tall. Squeeze your butt, brace your abs. You're a strong tree here. Hold it tight. Couldn't move you, couldn't push you over. Do it again. Take your hands. You'll have to loosen your butt cheeks a little bit. Chop your hips back. Well, you can't hinge with tight cheeks. Check it out again. Are your feet gripping the floor? Are your shins vertical? Is your load in your hammies and your core braced? From here, we're going to find the floor. You may have to drop your hips a little bit and modify to get your hands on the floor, depending on range of motion on your hammies. Let's grip the floor and warm up our wrists first. Fingers spread wide, pack your shoulders down or pull your shoulders out of your ears and rotate so your elbow pits or your blood donations face forward and then unrotate them. Screw those in again, rotating those blood donations forward. Now keeping that position, keeping as straight as elbows as you can, load your wrists a little bit, meaning shift your weight forward, use your fingers to push back. Repeat, shift your weight forward, Fingers push you back. One last time. If loading the wrist isn't your favorite thing, be gentle, but try to distribute your weight, weight not just through this bent part of your wrist, but through your hand. Come out of that, be loosey-goosey in the wrist. Do a quarter turn, so now your fingers face sideways. And let's do the same thing. Pull your shoulders down, rotate your elbow pits forward, and gently Sit side to side here, shifting your weight, using your fingers to push you back and push you back. No pinching pain, stretching is okay. One hand goes on normal, one hand rotates all the way around so your fingers face your knee, and now I see the entire front of your forearm. Pack your shoulder, maybe sit back into that stretch. That'll pull up through the front of that arm, if it's too much, you could have done this, or you could do this from a wall. Bend the elbow and peel your hand off the floor. Shake it out. That hand goes normal. Other hand turns. Fingers face your knee. Shoulder pulls down. Elbow pit forward. Sits back. Push those fingers heavy into the floor as you sit back. Push them down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> do that one more time and look at your pinky. Don't forget about your pinky. And now bend your elbow and peel your palm up off the floor and shake that out. Let's get to our back. We mm -hmm. were doing different wrist drills there. My mistake. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oops. As long as you enjoy your wrist Two mobility. Come down to your back. We're going to go through our get up pattern. So each move is specific and we'll explore some movements while we're there. Take your right arm, put it across your chest. Bend your right leg so your foot's flat on the floor. Your left leg is out straight. Your left arm is parallel with your left leg. Pushing your right hip, sorry, your right foot into the floor, activate your glute and think about extending your hip or pushing your hip through. And then easy off, roll back to your back. 
Drive your right foot into the floor again. Squeeze your butt cheek. Push your hip through and back to your back. Last one. Squeeze your cheek. Push it through. Pull on your elbow. What's so funny? Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Chirping in the back row here. Now, look at your shoulder. It should look like this. Not hanging on the beach. Proud shoulder. Pull that up. Hanging on the beach shoulder. Proud shoulder. Keep your proud shoulder. Pull your hand under. Squish a bug. Again, shoulder still proud. You may have to adjust this foot a little bit. Place it in a place in which you could then take this leg, bend it, lift, and put that knee where your butt was. We should repeat that. Take the knee away. Sit where it was. Repeat. Lift, bend the knee, put it where your butt was. Hand leaves the floor. Front foot moves to a lunge position. Check out your lunge here. If your hips were a bowl of punch, would you be spilling your punch out any direction? Think about it. Tip it one way, tip it the other way, tip it forward, tip it back. Now don't tip it anywhere, keep it nice and level. Our right arm was across our chest, sorry. Use both legs, stand up tall. Let's reverse it back down a little bit quicker, but not too quick. Leg you can touch, step back lunge, front foot opens, hand chops on hip, rotate, hinge. Lifting that back leg, sweeping, butt comes down to your elbow. Are you still proud? To your back. <clears throat> We're gonna take a little interlude here and fire up our core and our plank. Flipping over to a plank position. Yep. Were you whispering something to no. me? No. Okay. No, not at all. Plank position. Let's go to our Let's elbows. Let's chatter on those patios. Let's chatter on the patios. Okay. Elbows. Elbows. Shoulders packed, fists, toes tucked, either from the knees or from the toes. Let's all go from our knees. Change my mind. Tuck your hips under. Push up. We're staying on our knees right now. Your body is in a plank position, meaning you're like a table. Your butt's squeezed, you're tucked under slightly, and you're pulling the floor together underneath you. Make fists, squeeze your butt, brace your abs to take a punch to the stomach. Hold three, two, easy off. Come down, try to rest in a little bit of extension here. Butt squeeze, lift it up. When I say be prepared to take a punch, that should create that <gasps> That's what I want, but be able to breathe around that. I know it's a vicious act, but it's a good cue. Tuck your toes. If you'd like to progress that, we're going to go from our toes. If it was good from your knees, She's never there. actually punched anyone. No, I've never punched anyone. Just me. Tuck under. Hey, no, I don't. Tuck it, yeah. under <laughs> and then lift up and hold. Tuck. Hold the floor together. But I'm not ready you. for that, so I'm still modified. Squeeze Is your that butt. okay? Yes, be on your knees if you need to. Tension's high. Pull the floor together. Three, two, easy off. Flip over back to your back. We have a left side get up to do now. Okay. I'm gonna give underway? you a little bit of a side profile of my hip extension here, so hopefully that helps. I'm on my back. My left arm is now across my chest. My left leg is bent and out to the side. My right leg is straight. My right arm is parallel with that right leg. Push that left foot into the floor, engaging the butt, squeezing and pushing that hip through and then relax back to your back. Do that two more times. Push down to squeeze this cheek. If you have to touch it, touch it. Say hello, your own cheek and back. Last time, squeeze it, push it through so much, pull on your elbow, get to that elbow. Great, you stay, you stay. From here, check in with your shoulder. Proud shoulder, hanging at the beach. Proud shoulder. This is how I hang on the beach. I know it is. He does hang on the beach like this. From here, find your hand. Still proud shoulder. Maybe you need to give yourself some room with that foot. Get ready. Bend the straight leg, which is your right leg. Bend it. It's going to lift and put the knee down where your butt was. We better try it again. Sweep back. Butt goes down. Prepare to lift. Pack your shoulder. Brace. Left leg sweeps under where your butt was. 
Hand leaves the floor, front foot moves. Let's get back to our lunge and check it out. Pelvis, punch bowl. Sorry, Elvis Presley just came to mind really quickly. I was going to tell you that after class. Punch. The pelvis punch bowl. Okay. Uh, lift a hip, pull it down. Top, <laughs> spill the punch forward. The pelvis punch bowl. I know. The best. Pull the punch underneath. You have level hips. Your punch is nice and flat across your pelvis. Both legs up. up. We have to go back down, though. No. Leg you can touch steps back, which should be your right leg. Front foot opens. Hand chops hips, hinge, hand finds floor. Push, shift your weight. Hey, get back there. One step. Shift your weight over your hand. So your hand is underneath your elbow, and your elbow is underneath your shoulder, and your shoulder is underneath your other shoulder. From here, brace, lift, sweep to your elbow. Push away from that elbow, slow race. To your back. We have some more planks to do. Yes. Ian liked his rotisserie joke. So this is rotisserie number two. Our plank, our core rotisserie. Side planks. Elbow underneath your shoulder. Look at this. Packed shoulder. Pull that down. Knees, hips in line. Take your top hand. Touch your bottom ribs. Pull them away from the floor. Keep pulling so much your hips lift. Square those hips up forward, stack them, keep, keep squeezing those cheeks. If this is enough, stay. If you want a bit more, take that top leg, straighten it, and maybe lift it up off the floor. Sorry, you can't see my foot. I got chopped off here. But lift that top leg long. Hold, three, two, leg comes down. Controlled descent, keeping that shoulder packed. Relax and switch sides. Making sure you're purposefully moving into and out of movements, especially when it involves something like your and shoulder. And make it just right. As you just saw, as I said that, Lauren picked up her elbow a little bit and just pulled it tighter to her hip. Mm -hmm. Line up the way you want. It matters to you. Do it. Top hand, grip lift, keep lifting, pull. pull. Sometimes I find slide planks need a bit of reorganizing. I'm up nice and tall, I'm pulling away from the floor, maybe taking my top leg, I may be lifting my top leg and holding and pulling up in four, three, two, foot comes down, nice controlled descent. Whew. Great. Let's stand back up and review some hinges. Don't get up yet, we have to get up a special way. Flip to your stomach. We're going to push up and this then... This is the core rotisserie finish, <laughs> I think. Push up and then uh, hinge out. So from that modified push up, which is your knees, tuck your hips under, pull your shoulders down, brace your abs, one movement to leave the floor. Let's come back down. You think they did it right? It takes some time. So if they, time. if they were unsure, do we it against the wall. We should practice it again. Do it against a table... Pack your shoulders, tuck your hips, brace your abs, one unit from your head to your tail, tuck your toes, lift your hips, start walking your hands back, bend your knees, push your hips back to get to that hinge position, pause in the bottom of your hinge. Look, are your uh -oh. toes gripping? Uh-oh. Are your toes gripping the floor, your arches up, are your shins uh, perpendicular to the floor, spine nice and long, load up hammy and cheeks, drive through the floor, Squeeze tall. Just really quick, Whew. Lauren's going to show us what she means by that good push-up. Did they do it right? Oh. If I was in my planks position, Lauren, and I was on the ground. He's going to pull his head to be in line with his body slightly, retract his shoulder blades. I have this nice dowel, and he's always going to be touching that dowel. He's going to tuck under his ribs and hips a little bit, bracing those abs, and you'll see himself and the dowel will come up as one unit without breaking. I feel it's gonna slide off though. Okay, well, that's okay. That part's allowed. But see how that's a nice straight line versus Humpty Bumpty. Yeah, oh, that's it. Yeah, look at that. All right, do another work five. Work on the line, work, do another five. Do, work on the line, work on that strength, 
And again, doing it against the wall <laughs> and working yourself towards the floor is a nice progressive way to build your push up. Let's review our hinges and our deadlift. Great. Can you please get me a kettlebell? Of course. You do not need a kettlebell, but if you have one, bring it out. Doesn't have to be heavy. I have my, don't worry about what I have here. Place your bells down via a nice hinge. If you have a bell, great, place it between your feet. If not, imagine there's one there. Feet slightly wider than hip width. Rock back and forth and just find a nice grip on your toes. Lay those toes out, grip your feet, root them. Take your hands, chop your hips back and hinge. Here we go, checklist one more time and then I'll limit that checklist. Feet gripping, shins perpendicular, hips, butts loaded, abs braced. If you have a bell, grip it. If you don't, pretend. Pack your shoulders, brace your abs. With or without your bell, pretend to lift it for three, two, let it go. Up without, drive your hips through. When I fake lift something, even if there's nothing there, I feel so much work on my hamstrings and my butts. And I want you to feel that too. The preload. Hinge. Fake grip your bell. Look, I'll even do it without a bell. Pack your shoulders. Grip your bell. Make some fists. Pretend to lift something. It's 500 pounds. Let it go. Up without. Let's do it again. You shouldn't have lifted the 500 pounds. I should use pounds. two hands if it was 500 pounds. Oh, I could do it with one. Chop, hinge, imaginary grip, fists, pack shoulders, brace, 500 pounds, prepare to lift, let it go, up with it. Shake it out. <laughs> I'd like to review a little bit of some um, bodyweight presses. Get our pressing groove, and then we'll get back to our deadlift. Let's come to just a nice lunge position so you can see us here. Catch. There's your imaginary kettlebell. Yeah. Need some dental work. Oh, okay. Fist, packed shoulder, punch bowl level. 500 pounds in your arm. Press through that 500 pounds. As I go up, notice you can still see my ear, meaning my shoulder is packed. Come to your overhead. Reach a little bit by shrugging up. Pull the clouds down without bending your elbow. And then pull the clouds down all the way back to that rack position. Lats, 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 lats. And now I'm going to jump through the screen. And I'm with you at home. And I'm, I wish I wasn't blocking the view. I'm pressing down on Lauren's fists here, creating tension. And for 10 seconds or so, Lauren will be pushing up, pulling down through this armpit and pushing up against my light, pretend tension, making it harder where I feel she needs it. Then I'll relax, the shrug up, the pack down, and now the resistance is here. And now we're gonna try to pull down through the armpit. As we pull, I'm just gonna let go right around there into what we call that rax position. And I'm back. Whoa. Switch hands. Build tension. Pretend to press up or wedge yourself underneath that kettlebell. Arms and legs have switched. We're switch. on the second side. Two on this side. Pack shoulder. Ian's at home with you, pushing down on your hand. Oh, Three, she can see me. two, one. Press through that 500 pounds of Ian all the way to overhead. Shrug. Pull down. Now, pull, pull. I almost think about driving my elbow down through cement. Pull that to rack. Pause for a second, release the tension. Re-get the tension. Those are words. Ready? Press through the ceiling. Press, press, press. Reach for the sky. Pull it down. And then elbow pushes through cement. Rack, let it go, stand up, lunge up. Nice controlled lunge, good. Back to our bell. Let's hinge again for one more set. And then we'll make it a little more dynamic on our next set and maybe get into some pop and chops. That's exciting. Over your bell, take your hands. 
Chop your hips. Get back to your deadlift position. Grip your bell or imaginary grip. If you're imaginary gripping, I'm making really tight fists with my hands. Hold that tension. Brace your abs. Pull your shoulders down. Load up your hammies. Release the 500 pounds. Stand up without. Two more times. Hinge. Grip. Pack shoulders. Preload. Fake lift. Up without. This is for any task in your life. Moving trees. Lifting water softener salt. Carrying groceries. Grip bell. Pack shoulders. Brace abs. Hold. Let it go. Up without. One more set of presses. I'm just going to stay standing. Fall to a slight quarter turn, maybe a little stagger step. Got my bell. Rack position. One more time. Same routine. Brace. Press through. Press. 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 Keeping that shoulder down. All the way to your overhead. Reach for the sky. Set your shoulder. Pull it back down to rack position. One more time. Relax for a second. Get back the tension. Create tension and press through it. And all the way to your overhead. Reach. Set. Pull down. Pull down. Pull down. To the rack. Three, two, and relax. In that rack position, I almost imagine I'm holding myself up off the edge of a cliff. That's, a, I think, a great analogy. Need it. All right. I need it. Rack. Other side. Here Ooh, we go. Level side. hips, brace abs, and press 500 pounds through the ceiling. Get it all the way overhead. Elbow straight. Reach for the sky. Set your shoulder. Now pull the sky down. Pull. Pull. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Hang off the cliff for a second. Relax. One more time. Tension up. Press through the sky. Knuckles facing the ceiling. All the way overhead. Reach to unset. Pack shoulder. And then pull. 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 Down. Relax. This is where you're relaxing there. I was just thinking about that. And when we do eventually press with a kettlebell, at the top of a press, we don't ever reach and then reset. That's just a cue to get that shoulder in the right place. So if you do decide to lift a weight above your head, don't do that part. It shows up in the pull-up or yes. pulling tasks as well, having scapular control. All right, before we do some pop and chops, let's review one get up each side. I'm just gonna clear out my area. Top down. Top down. Normally a get up is usually typically performed from the bottom all the way up and all the way back down with a kettlebell loaded over your head. Let's get the pattern before we get the load. Cross your arm, leg you can touch, drop back lunge, think of pelvis elvis, control down. Front foot moves, chop hip, hinge, rotate hand finds floor. Make sure you shift that weight over your hand. Stack everything. Lift. Sweep. To your elbow. Push away from that elbow to your back. Use your hip extension. Push into the floor. Drive into that hip. Pull on your elbow. Check it out. Is your shoulder packed? Find your hand. Keep your shoulder packed. Lift. Sweep. Hand leaves. Front foot squares up to lunge. Both legs help you up. Tall. Other side. Step back lunge. Control the descent. Front foot opens. Chop. Hinge. Rotate. Shift. Lift. Sweep that back leg through. To your elbow. Controlled to your back. Whew. Hip drive, hip extension, push into the floor, pull elbow, find your hand, adjust, prepare to lift, prepare to sweep. Hand leaves floor, front foot moves, both legs up. 
When you do your get up, what's the hardest move for you? Yeah, that sweep is pretty hard. Hmm. I find for me when I get loaded, my first move is my hardest move. Coming More. down, personally, coming down in the lunge with my left foot back. Mm. That is my tighter hip. It Trickster. gives me a little bit of a trick every now and then. Work on that mobility and we'll deal and sort it out. All right, so I teased you about some swings. So let's get into that. Before we can swing a kettlebell, we have to swing an imaginary kettlebell. Pop and chops. Ian's giving a nice side profile. Can you step in the foreground a bit? Yeah. There we go. A swing is a ballistic action in which the bell comes from between your legs to the tall position in a plank, falls back down, and repeats. Let's practice with our chop and pops. Feet slightly wider than hips, just like your deadlift stance. Take your hands, your knives, chop your hips back. Your arms are gonna extend out behind you. Head is neutral. If you want to slightly look up, this is fine. It depends on dizziness and gaze. I don't mind clients slightly looking up as long as their neck isn't cranked. From here, take your hands, chop your butt through, stand up tall into your plank position. Right here, I come to the screen, punch in the stomach, punch in the butt, didn't hurt. Take your knives a little faster, chop your hips back, pop your hips through, do it again. Chop, pop, chop. Pop, chop, pop, five more, five, tight, four, punch, three, load up hammies and glutes, last one, bam, didn't hurt, shake it off. Next time we do our pop and chops, we'll talk about breathing, I'll tell you about that later. Until then, let's do a couple push-ups for practice, building some strength. Obviously, we must get down via our hinge. So chop it, hands find floor, walk self out safely into, we're gonna visit our three phases or stages of a push-up, starting with the top position. Always remember, if it feels too much from your toes, do this from your knees. Ian will be performing this from your knees. Right now, we're gonna be in our top position. Set your hands out slightly wider than shoulder width, pull your shoulders down, you're in your top position of your push-up. Hold it. Squeeze your butt. Brace your abs. Heads in line. Hold. Three, two, come down for a second. Next phase is going to be our mid-station. Can you model that for a second? Mid-station is going to mean an elbow bend about 90 degrees and holding that position. Ready? From the top, pack your shoulders. Brace. Mid-station. Hold. Keep your shoulders out of your ears. Five, four. Three, two, if your knees weren't down, put them down, push up. One more station, that's the lowest. Let's come all the way down to the floor. Hands are about around chest or just under shoulders. Pull your shoulders down, tuck your hips under, brace your abs, and we're gonna try to hover off the floor here. I'm on my knees for this one, holding that hover position. Three, two, either come down or push up. Great. Toes tuck, back up via your hinge, stand up tall. Uh-oh, what's this? Is that last class or this class? The talking with the dowel already? Yeah, that was this class. Channel that dowel position in all, in all three of those phases, particularly the low one. Mm -hmm. Particularly the low one. We it's don't want to see be, this be getting out one. of your push-up. It's going to be the hard one. Chop and pops. Chop and pops. Let's do 10 in a row. Then we're gonna take only about a 10, 15 second break. We're gonna do another 10 to show how much work this can actually be. That's right, sorry, one second. I wanted to talk about breathing. Breathing is very important on our swing because breathing adds the brace to our core on every swing, which protects our spine and back and makes us stronger. What we're gonna do is we're going to inhale on our chop back. So stand up tall, inhale. Exhale as your hips snap through, right here. Inhale. Five more. Chop. Tight. Chop. Use that exhale brace. I've lost count. Three. Chop. Two. Chop. We're doing bonus. Eleven. Shake it out. Don't go anywhere. 
10 seconds or so, we're gonna do it all again. Drills like these are as hard as you make them, and it is in the interest, our interest, your interest, to make things as hard as you need to. I'm sweating. Don't make them as heavy as you need to, but make a way to find them tight and tough. I can get my ready? pretend baseball bat out here. Let's do 15, here we go, uh -oh. get ready. Okay, fine. Three, two, 15, chop, tight, oh. one, two, three, four, toes heavy, five, punch. Five more, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Couple seconds off, we're gonna do one more round and we're gonna hit 20. One of our Ooh. standards, and we just made some videos, they're up on YouTube, we made a five video series, starting with chop and, uh, no, starting with deadlifts, progressing to chop and pops, and working towards swings. In two and a half minutes, 50 swings is your standard number one. And then we're gonna work on that and build to 100 swings in five minutes. Take your time. Body weight for now. 20 swings. Grace. Wow. 20 pop and chops. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. If you're matching our speed, that's great. I believe that's 10, 10 more, 10, nine, tight every time, eight, spine is nice and long, hips are taking your load, four, three, two, one, shake it out, Woo. your breathing should be a little elevated, not crazy, but yeah. it should be work, sweat factors up there for sure, should be work, we're going to finish with one last get up each side, Excellent. Great. Talk Rock. down. Yep. I'm going to talk less. There's you a little weight behind you, but you got room. I want you to try to remember this yourself. We will do... What side are you doing? You're doing your left. Doesn't matter. Let's all do our right side. Step open. Use that hinge again. Rotate. Hand finds the floor. Lifting and sweeping. Check in with shoulders as you make your way to your elbow and your back. Use your hip extension. Pull. Make your way through this. Trying to remember the pattern yourself. Looking for us for cues if you need it. Left side. Step back lunge. Open your gate. Pack that shoulder. Sweep to the elbow. Oh. And back up. Pull. Hand. Lift. Sweep. Hand leaps four. Front foot moves up together. Great, I think we did six get-ups today. Uh, 30, 45 pop and chops. Nice. So about 50 deadlifts, basically. And working on. I hope you feel your hemis in your butt. And always and your those, abs. Oops, excuse me. And always those abs. And I Ooh. hope you feel great too. Yeah. It's not about being sore, it's about being strong. So that consistent effort. That and too. We promise to build intensity too. We hope that the pop and chops Gave you a taste of that. I feel like I'm back to my So team like we're photo. back in team photos or elementary school photo shoots for photo day. Anyway. Thank you so much for joining. My name is Ian. I'm Lauren. Together we're Bars and Bells. We train simple, have strong, fun times, and want to share with you again. So tell your friends, sign up as a member if you're not at www.barsandbells.com and subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Questions, let us know. Enjoy your evening. Have a good night. And we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I won't stop. I won't stop. Oh, the clock is